Before this video starts, I would like to preface it with a few things. Leading up to this video, I was a huge fan of the H3 podcast. When I was at my sickest, the podcast was always something that I could watch to make me feel less alone. I even remember saving up money from my first job ever. Wait, you don't like Jake? Who is he? I don't even know who he is yet. Apparently people do not like him and they're very mad about this video. More recently, I was on the podcast speaking to Ethan about an unrelated subject. I left VidCon to attend their most recent live show and I'm also friendly with a few of their crew members. But I saw a few very concerning things when it comes to Ethan Klein's lupus journey. I was watching Ethan during the lupus journey and he had almost like the same experience that I had when the doctors thought I had lupus. And so I kept telling everyone I had lupus. I did not have lupus. I had fibromyalgia. It was so, <laughs> the doctors really make you feel so confident. Okay. I've been sick his entire life. I felt like I needed to make this video. Not only have I dealt. What is he sick with? with chronic illness, but I run a nonprofit where I support people financially who are sick and struggling. As a viewer of the podcast, if I were to stand back and watch Ethan lie, saying certain things about his health that are just straight up misinformation, then I'd be doing a disservice to an entire community. My okay, Ethan was very funny during the lupus era. H3H3's edit team would be like, Ethan does not have lupus because it was so, he'd be like, it's lupus. I'm telling you, it's lupus. And then they'd be like, Ethan does not have lupus. It was so funny. Ren says Brittany and Ethan faking lupus allegations. Oh, it's very, listen, when you go to the doctor and you're chronically ill, and they're looking at your photos and they're looking at your dad and they're like, oh, it's definitely probably lupus. You start to run with that. I ran with it. I was like, it's lupus. They told me it's lupus. They looked at my photos. I went to, you know, I finally went to rheumatology. It's fibromyalgia, but it could have been lupus because the doctor sounded pretty confident, bro. So it made me feel confident. My goal in making this video is not to do anything but address what I've seen from Ethan and his behavior. Ethan Klein claimed to have lupus, made money off of it, and then admitted that he made everything up and self-diagnosed <gasps> himself. Well, self-diagnosed, okay, first of all, how many people in this audience have self-diagnosed themselves? Go ahead, tell me. Tell me the truth. How many of you have identified with words that are not on your medical paperwork? Tell me right now, because you know, you know that's how everyone is. We all diagnose ourselves all the time with things we don't have. I'm pretty sure it's the flu. I think it's COVID. Oh, I think it's like autism. I think I have ADHD. As I'm recording this, yesterday, I posted a teaser to this video and I've received- And also I am a mini like, hypochondriac with my partner. We're always thinking it's something else. Like guys, this lump in my breast is so angry right now because it fluctuates in size. It's my lymph node. But I'm like, is it cancer? And he was like, did you ever get it checked? I was like, I got it mammogram twice. He's like, but did you get it autopsy or biopsy? And I was like, a bio a biopsy? No, I never got a biopsy on it. And he was like, well, what if it's cancer? I was like, they said it wasn't cancer. They did it. They did a thingy. More backlash than I've gotten in a very long time. So much so that somebody from the H3 crew direct messaged me and called me insane for thinking <gasps> this. I also want it to be known that I understand the other side of things. I get that dealing with health problems can be a very scary time in someone's life. But when the health problems that Ethan Klein is talking about are completely self-diagnosed with zero symptoms, you have to ask- And to be fair, when I thought I had lupus, my friends suggested it to me and they were very smart to do that because it led me down a path of getting a right diagnosis. But I had like all of the symptoms in my head and at least to my doctors, I had all of the symptoms and they're like, oh my gosh, you're losing your hair, skin rashes, fatigue, like all of these things. And I was like, cool. I even kept an album on my phone of all of these photos. And I was like, what is this? And they're like, oh, like they could definitely, like it could definitely be lupus. It looks very much like lupus. I'm going to say it's autoimmune. And I was like, okay, but they're like, but we have to confirm with rheumatology. And then we started to refer to it as my lupus, but it wasn't lupus. Oh, yeah, I got to go get my ship a bop seed. Ask yourself, why is he doing this? <laughs> On June 16th, 2023, Ethan live streamed an episode of his show, The H3 Podcast. The episode was going fine until Ethan said something unexpected. This morning, I thought I had cancer for sure. I'm not going to lie. This morning? What happened yeah, this so morning? I got some because I did a bunch. I had weird blood. I always think I have cancer ev all the time, every day. I'm, I'm like, I have to go get a colonoscopy. I was like, I'm pretty sure I have cancer. I always think. I have cancer. Like, it's always just there. I have cancer. I have cancer. I definitely have cancer. And then it's, is it the fibro or is it cancer? Is it the fibro or is it the cancer? I used mm -hmm. when I did my, I just did the whole blood work to test my cholesterol and stuff was fine. My white blood cells and platelet counts were high. So my doctor was like, it's probably, Why? it's probably nothing, but I can send you to a hematologist. Well, I wasn't super worried, but then I went to the hematologist and we did a whole bunch of tests. That was, you know, uh, earlier this week and they started coming in. And so like, here's one tripe taste. A lot of this stuff has to do with like leukemia. Uh. Saying that an elevator. That's true. June would say you always prefaced it that you weren't 100% sure you had it whenever you mentioned it. I tried my hardest to cover my tracks. You know, I did, but still, I like referenced it as my lupus. I was like in Miami and I had like sun rashes all over my body, like bumps and everything. And I was like, it's the lupus. And it's not the lupus. 
it's fibromyalgia. Related tripe taste relates to leukemia is like saying that sneezing relates to sinus cancer. Ethan states that he went to check on his cholesterol levels and then seemingly read his- oh! Amber says Ethan also didn't make it up. His doctor started the planted the seed that a lupus is a possibility. That's what my doctors did, which to be fair, I don't blame them too much, but like his own lab results and self-diagnosed himself based off of Google searches. He goes on to talk about a more recent test result that came in. This test is the one that Ethan runs with throughout this entire journey. My uh, Anna Titer. This is um, also like leukemia and lupus and shit. First, Anna Titer makes no sense. The part that Ethan calls Anna stands for anti-nuclear antibodies. It's an mm -hmm. acronym that Ethan pronounces Anna instead of ANA like most every medical- Okay, but when I first saw ANA, I didn't know what it is either. Okay professional does. This also adds to my claim of Ethan searching his labs and not hearing the results from an actual doctor due to the mispronunciation. According to the Mayo Clinic, in most cases, a positive ANA test indicates that your immune system has launched a misdirected attack on your own tissue. In other words, an autoimmune reaction, meaning this could have been from anything, including asthma. To be fair, when my blood tests came back, they all came back with like warnings, like the computer would say, um, out of scope, in scope, and like mine would come out like out of scope. And it was like out of range, out of range, out of range, not a scope, out of range. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm out of range. And then I would send my blood test to my dad. And I was like, I'm dad, I'm out of range. And he's like, oh my God, it's lupus. And then I'd call my doctor and I'd be like, look at this. And she's like, oh my gosh, like you're out of range. And then we would do all these things. She's like, but we still had to wait for the rheumatologist. The rheumatologist saw and they go, you're fine, dude. You're barely out of range but I'm going to diagnose you with, with um, fibro. And I looked at my rheumatologist. I was like, you need to explain this to me right now. I'm losing my hair. I'm fucking stressed. All this shit is happening. Listen to me when I say this. Are you diagnosing me with fibro? I was like, I need a real diagnosis or I need no diagnosis. He's like, no, I'm putting it on your medical paperwork. I will give you this paper. You can send this to doctors in Europe so they can look up your like lab tests here. You have fibro. I'm diagnosing you. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, I'm 100% positive. I'm diagnosing you with fibro. And I was like, okay. So I took my paperwork to Europe. I called my partner. I told him it's fibro and that's it. And to be honest, even to this day, I have moments where I'm like, maybe he was wrong about the fibro. And then I don't work out for two days and I'm withering on the floor crying or I'm on the couch and I'm like, oh, I did it to myself. I did this to myself. I know what to do for my fibro, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Sugar, honey, everything that causes like inflammation in your body, all of it like contributes to fibro pain. And fibro pain is like, I can't even explain it to you because it's not even, it doesn't make any sense. But when it happens, you're like, huh? Like fibro pain is worse than any pain I ever experienced as a consenting masochist in the dungeon. Let me tell you, fibro pain play different, bro. And speckled exclamation. Homogeneous and speckled is an interesting finding, but this doesn't mean anything more than a lab result. In doing research, yes, homogeneous and speckled can mean a specific type of lupus. But there have also been many ANA test results that come back homogeneous and speckled where the diagnosis turned out to be eczema. Huh. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you just so you don't get worried. Okay. I wrote the doctor this morning. I was like, I'm super stressed out. Like, what's what's going on with these? And he just wrote me back. Yeah. And it makes me feel a little better. And actually, this morning, I had a conversation with Chad GPT that made me feel a little better, too. <laughs> oh boy. A conversation? Oh boy. I love that. I love talking to Chad G I've never done it, but I love that. That's what he did. That's hilarious. Obviously, yeah, this uh, seems personal, Amber says. Yeah, I just... It obviously seems like this guy is like personally upset versus I just accept that like diagnoses are hard and people are messy and Ethan's super messy about everything. So it just like, you know what I mean? He's going to go through it. Oh, wait. Callie says it feels like static TV through your body throughout every sense are taking over every sense. The fibro pain, it does feel like that. It feels like it's like a humming, consistent in my bones pain. It feels like it's in my bones. It's your nerves, right? It like feels like, like it's so frustrating that I'm like, stop it. Like, oh, like, no, ma'am. I did. I said, yo, doctor, it doesn't seem like good results on the tri taste test. I'm stressing about it. And he said, it's not a very high elevation. I want to not be stressed about it. Still waiting for the molecular studies. Chat GBT was like, it's probably not leukemia. Oh, good. It could be lupus, but I don't have enough. Reaching out to your doctor. Okay. He said it could be lupus, but I don't have enough. So... After looking at lab results is exactly what they're there for. And the doctor said that there was nothing to worry about. But according to Ethan, ChatGPT made him feel better saying it's not leukemia, but it could still be lupus. I put this to the test. When talking to ChatGPT. Man, this guy has no chill, bro. I'm four minutes in. This guy has no chill. It's a 44 minute video. This guy has no chill. No, if he helps nonprofits or if he has a nonprofit and he helps people with chronic pain, you should know like, this is a part of that, right? Like, 
it, this was my chronic pain story, thinking I had lupus, freaking out, telling people I had lupus maybe, and then realizing, oh, it was fibro. And like, not that it was like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I feel like he's not having like, Ethan's a comedian. Like, I don't know. Ethan's messy. I don't know why he's being so angry about it. PT with the same lab. This white man anger is like a different flavor. Okay. Results. The chatbot consistently says, talk to your doctor and basically don't take anything it's saying as fact, which Ethan had to ignore to get to this point. And from this point on is when Ethan Klein runs with this chat GPT lupus diagnosis. I'm really, I'll take lupus over uh, cancer. Lupus symptoms includes um, think muscle like and joint pain. No fever. No rashes. Sometimes I get on my face, but it's been gone for a while. Chest pain. No hair. <laughs> Rock says Jack's films vibes for sure. <laughs> It's just the self-righteousness is so funny. Hair loss, I mean, look at me. Sun or light sensitivity, no kidney problems, mouth sores, prolonged or extreme fatigue, anemia, I don't have anemia in the blood yeah. test, memory problems. Oh, weird. I have no symptoms. Wow. Because so chat GPT is like, because you have no symptoms, like leukemia and lupus usually are accompanied with symptoms, then it's hard for me to so say. So what could it be? That's crazy. Ela, that's a phenomenal question to ask. What could it be? With most lupus diagnoses being based off of symptoms, and according to Ethan, he has none whatsoever, you would think this would be the end of the AI lupus diagnosis. But boy, is that wrong. Because at I mean, first it was like, my blood platelets were super high and my white blood cells were super high and, and that means one of those not things? super high i guess but it was above the normal and my original general doctor was like it could be that you just have high values on that and it's mm. fine because you see my mm. platelets are pretty high that's what mine was like i think mine was like that something like that and i remember thinking like oh my gosh but they said it was they said it could have been related to the elevation on the mountain I, i'm gonna get this wrong but it said like because i was living on a mountain and high elevation it could also affect that as well and i was so confused so they said that that also could be why I'm out of range. You know what I mean? Uh, 530. A certain type of what white blood cell is just- Ingrid says this man is one of those male feminists. Yeah, he's definitely got that vibe. It's like white man anger, but like progressive. It's definitely that kind of vibe. You know what I mean? A little bit high, just a little bit over the norm. Get Rock says when you think you're cooking, but you're just boiling water for ramen. Down to the tri-spate. This one stressed me out because it's almost double the normal range. Oh Hopefully the doctors God. are listening. The anatiter one fucked me up. It says the normal value is between 1 to 40 and 1 to 80 minus 1 to 320. The lab that did this, they wrote an exclamation in red after this shit. So did he give you a reasoning why or? Not yet. He says he's he says it's not a very high elevation. I would not be stressed about it. Still waiting for the molecular studies. So I guess there's more test results he's still waiting on. But the good news is my cholesterol's fine. If I don't die of cancer before or uh, I have a heart attack. So the weird thing about this is that I did a blood test a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my platelets and white blood cells were elevated back then too. Ethan is being a little bit hypochondriac. Are you fucking kidding, dude? No, this isn't hypochondriac. Stop it. According to Ethan, in the it's pretty. It's pretty much. I get that though. That's me. My whole. I'm not even gonna like fault him. My partner and I are so great at being hypochondriacs. Like everything is everything. We're always got cancer. I'm always calling my mom like, I think I might have MS. And she's like, and like, look, I don't believe it enough to go to the doctor because like no one has time to pay for that. But at the same time, like, it's definitely a conversation I have all the time. The past, he has had lab results where his white blood cell count was elevated, which I believe is connected to his GERD diagnosis because, well, later in this video, his doctor says it is. Also, saying that you're not a hypochondriac and then following it up with this is wild. Well, the good news is... Well, it's just like... He's just being a person. Like, it's so innocent. It's, like, not even malicious. He's just being, like... At worst, he wants attention. Oh, no. Ethan Klein wanting attention? Who would have thunk? As if I do have cancer, because I was not, I'm not symptomatic at all. So if I do, we caught it, I guess, early, as earlier than I would have if I started having symptoms. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But I don't. I, I think this whole, this idea of cancer seems unlikely based on what ChatGPT told me and uh, the doctor told me. <laughs> based on ChatGPT, not to worry. So I'm trusting him on that one. But if you look up all the ones that I'm abnormal for, it all is like you have leukemia or lupus. I'll take lupus any day, bro. Hit me with that lupus. Hit me with that lupus. Not only undermines people who have lupus. Oh, shut the. F up white man lupus is better than cancer i'm gonna say it right now it's also worse than cancer unless your cancer is like easily curable or maybe you die from your cancer and that's your preference why is he acting like we don't compare diseases obviously it's better that i have fibro and not lupus i am lucky that i had fibro and not lupus lupus would have been a lot harder on my life you know like why is he acting like you can't compare okay it still sucks. Fibro literally sucks. And most of you pussies wouldn't even be able to handle it if you had fibro, bitch. You'd be crying like a little bitch, bitch. Okay? It doesn't mean it's still not better than f lupus.
Lupus's experiences, but also makes it seem like a lupus diagnosis is an easy thing to come by. Also, he just said the idea of cancer seems unlikely based on what ChatGPT told him. But he follows up by saying, according to ChatGPT, he has leukemia or lupus. This idea of cancer seems unlikely based on what ChatGPT told me. But if you look up all the ones that I'm abnormal for, it all is like, you have leukemia or lupus. Oh, so my, that, it also suggested Sjögren syndrome. I, the ChatGPT suggested that. But I don't know what the fuck that is. These chronic illnesses like Sjögren syndrome that Ethan keeps thinking he has are predominantly in women, which he fails to mention multiple- Ethan is a woman! times. According to Johns Hopkins, most people who are diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome are 40 and older and women are as much as 10 times- Ethan is in his 40s? So, okay more likely to develop it than men. I'm not saying it's impossible to be diagnosed with it as a man, but you would think that if Ethan did any amount of research or spoke to a doctor instead of ChatGPT, his worries would be lessened. Also, with zero symptoms, his likelihood of having any of these things is so much smaller. Oh God, my boyfriend passed away from lupus within a year of being diagnosed. Sarah, oh. don't say that. Mm. Walk her. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mute her, I'm please. I'm sorry to hear that, what the hell? I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah, I'm telling you it's serious. Because well, when I read about lupus, it said- uh, Selena Gomez had lupus and she had to get a kidney transplant and it was super the tea, bro. Like, I guess like 90% of the people survive, which is not, I know, great, but- It's not cancer. It's, it's not cancer, yeah. And it's treatable. It says people who get it, who get it treated can live a normal like lifespan. I mean, yeah, lupus is treatable in some situations, yes. And Ethan's wealth would make the process much easier but somebody donated and said that their boyfriend died shortly after a lupus diagnosis and instead of empathizing ethan spews out more ch yeah yeah super sad bro it's a comedy show ethan doesn't always get like super sad about bad news it's like he doesn't watch h3 h3 what the fuck yeah like it you don't you can't okay he doesn't always get super sad with the whole audience sometimes they tell dark jokes i, I don't watch h3 h3 like every day anymore but like i watch enough h3 h3 to know like this isn't like, this is the show. This is the show. This is literally why some people don't like Ethan and a bunch of people do. Like, I don't know why he's act like, I hate when he's like, I used to be a fan of H3H3. H3. Well, obviously not that big of a fan. Cause nothing so, f I, again, I was watching Ethan specifically during this time. Cause I thought it was so funny and relatable, but yeah, he didn't empathize the most with that comment, but also maybe he wasn't, he didn't want to bring down the, the mood in that regard. You know what I mean? Chat GPT info he's received and says people yeah, it's who like clearly a joke, bro. get it treated can live a normal lifespan. Getting into the next episode. Yeah, good point, Rock. Rock says instead of empathizing with Ethan for having a health anxiety, you made this video, bro. Literally. He's just going through it. That Ethan talks about his health in. We get a few updates on what could be going on. So I have two doctors. I've got my general doctor and my hematologist now, and I've been messaging them both panicking. So let's see who got back to me. I mean, my, I'm so fucked. What is not wrong with me? Okay, now he says, regarding the lab, the ANA is something interesting. Take this in with a grain of salt with all the patient symptoms before interpreting it. I think we are looking for a plausible GI issue. Y'all, that editing's so good, though. You, and then you see, as some of these diseases can elevate ANA, like possibly the esophagitis. Yeah, I'm waiting for the hematologist, but he 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 made me feel better on Friday when he messaged me. He says, uh, "I don't think this is a new and separate problem than the one we discussed." Oh no! Ethan had already spoken to his doctor about his levels, and the general doctor said that it's most likely an esophageal issue, which Ethan has had problems with for a long amount of time. But a new diagnosis seems to almost excite Ethan so much so that he runs with these claims for over. Yeah, Ethan's a drama. Like he's dramatic. Ethan is literally dramatic. If Ethan was my friend, I would assume he would call me and be like, the world is f***ing ending, bro. I got a rash on my arm. Bro, I'm going to f***ing die. Like, I just assume if Ethan is my friend, like, everything is the end of the world. Over a month after his general doctor said it's not something more than his prior diagnosis. Cheers, my dude. I love my doctor, by the way. He's so awesome. He's so nice. So nice to have a good doctor who like, I just trust his, his I like trust him that he knows what he's talking about and gets back to me. And Ethan claims to trust his doctor and like him a lot. But on the other hand, ChatGPT is giving a new exciting diagnosis. So I'll ask you again, why is he doing this? Oh my God, he's gonna accuse of grifting? Wait, is he about to accuse Ethan of like grifting? During the initial stream where Ethan talks about his health problems, he received $1,550.42 in donations. These were either- Oh my gosh, wow. That's really gonna put a dent in this multi-millionaire's life. His house is worth $11 million. Everybody relax. Everyone relax. His house is literally worth $11 million, right? Like, oh my God, everyone relax. Ethan and Ela, the super wealthy, fucking grossly wealthy couple, $1,000 is really gonna make a huge fucking difference. People are gonna donate that anyways. You act like people don't donate, donate to millionaires every day. Your millionaire streamers get donations just cause every day.
relating to his health. Which is great. Like, let fans donate. Or gifted memberships during the time where he expressed his medical anxieties. Some of those donations gave better advice than ChatGPT did, but Ethan seemed to ignore them. They included things. Yeah, because Ethan's like, Ethan. Things like, Ethan, don't look too closely at your labs. I'm a nurse, and they're often slightly low or elevated based on different factors. An exclamation mark just means abnormal, but two exclamation marks means critical. Or don't look too much into it. The problem is, is like, even the audience doesn't get it. He's making content. So yes, he's having a health scare and he's running with it, but it's also like a part of the content, right? So it's kind of like fun in a way to like, oh my gosh, be sick and oh my gosh, what is it? And oh my gosh, I want to talk about it. But also like, you know, Wait for the doctor, please. And I'm a nurse, and the context of your overall health is so important to understanding labs. I know it's hard. Try to be patient and trust that your MD will evaluate the full picture. Sometimes things will be elevated at baseline. Some of these donations were even from people struggling with lupus or other illnesses telling Ethan not to worry about his labs. Sorry, I just wanted to jump in here for a little bit because people online are saying that nobody with lupus or chronic illness actually donated to Ethan thinking that he was actually sick. I wanted to read all of them. I went through thousands of donations over the two to three months that Ethan was doing this. This is just a portion of them. I recorded myself reading all of the donations from people who are chronically ill and then it turned out to be like eight minutes long so here's a spreadsheet twenty dollars on june 16th i had cancer dude sucked but the science is so advanced these days and if you catch it early chef's kiss ten dollars june 19th i have esophilic esophagitis and acid reflux it is pretty consistent with your coughing up i would get an upper endoscopy and if you can get a sleep study five dollars july 25th i just what's wrong with these this guy is so weird this guy is so weird Ugh, ran with the super chat thank you so much Brittany. the super chat grifter true if you guys give me um, super chats, it will cure my fibromyalgia. Yep, that's what the science says. The science says if you give me super chats, it will cure my fibromyalgia. So, no, who is this guy? He's got 282,000 subscribers. Jake Doolittle. Fun fact, Ethan is well known for not being able to pronounce anything correctly. True. I feel like gatekeeping chronic illness and health anxiety awareness is significantly more harmful, harmful than having health anxiety and making it into a bit of a comedy podcast. Food for thought. Bro, you're mad Ethan can't pronounce all the he can't pronounce anything. Me neither. Um, yeah, this is so weird. This is so weird. Found out I have stage three kidney disease. Chronic illness is tough. Ten dollars July twenty sixth. Took five years to get a lupus diagnosis. Brittany, when are you gonna do something controversial so you can get an H three? <laughs> I got nothing. There's, I'm my life. I'm not a controversial person. I'm, an, I'm a good person. I don't know. There's nothing. I got nothing. If I were Ethan, I would feel terrible for receiving donations from people. Who cool. You're not Ethan, and I don't know why you'd feel terrible for that. You should probably go to therapy for that. Why would you feel terrible for that, bro? You're just going through it, bro. It's just like, it's just being a streamer, bro, making content. Why do people put so much emphasis on content? Look, content is content is content, okay? Like, y'all need to chill. Who have a confirmed diagnosis of something I don't, but he continues to do this. Mariah with the super chat, let's go. Okay, fine, here's my actual 10%. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's my blessing. Ethan is so unserious. Ethan is so unserious, bro. Adrian says Ethan and Trisha are the same in the same way, really dramatic and just saying stuff to talk. They just want, it's a mixture of wanting attention and just talking. Blah, 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 blah. I saw a post on the subreddit and I just want to give a shout out real quick at the top to a fan who was just diagnosed with cancer, you know. I got a, yeah, I, my heart goes out. It says, so I've been watching H3 all my life. He just said my heart goes out. Diagnosed with cancer, LOL. Is the I get the vibe though. Yeah, diagnosed with cancer, LOL. See? See? It's like humorous. Oh, like, I get it. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt on Monday. Dark, dark humor, bro. Is that how you felt Monday? Because as I remember it, you were diagnosed with nothing new. The only thing the doctor actually acknowledged was a prior diagnosis, Ethan. Do you ever get like a thought about yourself and then you put yourself there into the future? Like when I thought I had illnesses, guys, I like mourned, like I mourned people's funerals, bro. You like put yourself there. You like, you know what I'm saying? Ethan just put himself there. He just thought, man, what if I do have cancer? What if I do have lupus? How's this going to impact my family and my kids and everything in my life? And then he fucking played it in his head enough that he was like, bro, I felt like I was there. He just, he believed it. He allowed himself to believe it, even though he knew it probably wasn't true. And has had for a while. He says, uh, I don't think this is a new and separate problem than the one we discussed. That's kind of how I felt on Monday. Right. And I haven't heard back from my hematologist, so. I feel like that's probably good news. He's still waiting, I guess, on some test results that haven't come mm, out. Okay. Mm. So let's say if it's really bad, they'll like kind of be in a hurry to tell you, right? I, yeah, but he, uh, he's still waiting. By the way, this person has cancer and I'm making it all about me. I agree. Moving past this, apparently. He's. 
He's so unlikable. Apparently, Ethan asked one of his crew members to ask their family member who's in the medical field what they thought about his lab results. And this was their response. Did your family member? I did this too. I sent this to people I knew and everyone's like, I think you're fine. And I was like, am I though? Because I was in so much pain from the fibro. Like insane. Like guys, I was like, not eating. I was like so skinny. I was like dragging myself on the kitchen floor because like if I don't work out and I wasn't working out because I thought I had lupus because I thought I had lupus. My doctor told me to stop working out and stop putting too much strain on my body and go into this crazy diet, pay this nutritionist a shit ton of money. I spent so much money on my health that year. I literally like I don't even know where I was in that year of diagnosis or whatever. And I'm lucky I diagnosed within 12 months. Like that's pretty amazing. I would give or take like technically it was a little longer, shorter, but it doesn't matter. Um, the point is, okay, I was really lucky, but I was in so much pain. And the irony is that if I had worked out, I would have been fine. I even had a friend tell me like, you should just work out. But I was so terrified of doing anything that doctors didn't tell me to do like that I would f it up. But the irony is if I had listened to my friend and just worked out, I would have felt a lot better, but I wouldn't have put the connection together either. So the irony is like, I didn't work out. I did the opposite thing for my health, but they didn't know. They literally thought it was autoimmune. So they told me not to work out because they were afraid. And I'm like, bro. And so I'm just like, dude, and now everything's so different. You know, we're doing our daily walks. We've been really good. We've been lifting my weights. And it's just, okay. Get back to you. Yeah, he did, did he? but he mentioned my titter. Like because Notice how she says you're not going to like his answer. Could it be that she knows that Ethan has his mind set on a lupus diagnosis and this medical professional doesn't support that claim? Go ahead. I'll just send you the screenshots. It's not good, is it? It's not good or bad. It's, he yeah, said it's- Lena just framed it very scary, but no, it's not. No. <laughs> oh, because I said you're not gonna like it. He said it's basically inconclusive. It depends heavily on the clinical context. A lot of people have positive ANAs and are perfectly normal. And some providers don't even order them because there are so many false positives. And what about the titter? What about the titter? The ANA test that Ethan received is the titter. The titer part of Anna titter that Ethan has been talking about literally just measures the presence and amount of antibodies in the blood. God, he's such an angry hater, bro. I get it though. I can be an angry bitch too. Uh, this would be like if a doctor said Ethan was five foot six and Ethan questioned the doctor's tool of measurement. But anyway, the point is, I'm going to read it because I want to send love to this person. And found this channel to actually lift me out of many depressive episodes. That being said, and I don't even know why I'm wasting my little life. Come on. I have left on Reddit to post my feelings. It didn't take you that long to write this. Uh, but anyways, I'm See just, how they make the cricket sounds? Because they know Ethan's being Ethan. Typing words as I'm thinking, I'm cancer sucks. My grandma, then my mom, and now me are going to probably die from it. And honestly, it's funny hearing jokes about it. See? And it takes away from the everyday nature of thinking about dying. God. I love you, H3 fam. No homo. No homo. And I hope the podcast- No homo. <laughs> and I hope the podcast lives on for many years after I'm gone. Well, I don't know what your situation is, but uh, we love you. And um, if there is a chance to beat it, I hope you uh, do. The person who posted on Reddit said, they'll most likely die. And Ethan says, I hope you beat it, which I find so funny because Ethan is the exact type of person to get mad at someone for telling him, I'm sure you're fine. Oh, I'm sure you're fine. But why? You're not sure of that. I'm sure. I know. What it. do you mean? You're sure. I don't <laughs> like when people say that. I'm I, sure. I'm, I'm you're, why are you sure? What gives you the right to tell me that? In the next episode of his members only pod. Yeah. Isn't that just because like that's his anxiety speaking that way? Conrad with the super chat. This guy is me with Sneeko for real, for real. Oh my. Oh my. You know, we all have the people that we're like or about you know what i mean yeah that's interesting like i mean obviously when ethan's having a moment like that like that's the thing i take people for like the moments they're having and like again if you don't want to point it out because ethan's your boss that's fair like how many of us point out when our boss is being like silly right and at the same time like it's, it's just like i don't know i don't know Ugh. Cast. Ethan gives us a dramatic telling of what's going on. All right, here, here's here's what's going on. So I'm going in on Tuesday for a note for a blood test follow up, and I'm being referred to a rheumatologist, which, if you don't know, is a doctor that specializes in autoimmune disease. So it seems I don't, yeah, I don't think it's cancer, but I think there is a significant possibility that I have an autoimmune disease, and even more possible, it seems that it might be lupus no ethan that's not how that works just because you were referred to a doctor doesn't mean that you're diagnosed with something in the field that they specialize in also ethan said it's even more possible that he has lupus but from what he sh look as somebody who's gone to the doctor it's always interesting when they send you to a specialist because it makes you think like oh something's wrong wrong and look it was true right that i had to go to a rheumatologist i had to like get diagnosed with fibro i had to do all that stuff make sure it's not lupus i just feel like look this is what happens 
It is what happens. Amber says Ethan is so likable and this guy sucks the energy out of the room. That's what it is. Is Ethan's not only likable, but he's just doing it like a kid. He's just being like, he's just brainstorming, which I find that experience very relatable. You guys know how many times I cried on stream during my diagnosis time? And I really thought it was lupus. And I was like, holy shit. And I was on this horrible diet. My life was so different. They were like, basically, like all this bad news came out once. Like I changed as a person. Like that diagnosis period literally made me transform into a different version of myself. And it's like, it completely changed me. So, uh, you know, Ethan's just being Ethan. He's just making content and talking about things in the moment. And he is exaggerating and he is doing what Ethan's always done. Ethan's not perfect. Ethan's made some of the most accusatory fake content I've ever seen. Ethan's just being Ethan. He's exaggerating as Ethan does. He's putting on a show as Ethan does. He's just being so Ethan. And it's kind of like you got to hate it or love it because he does make a lot of false accusations on the internet because Ethan just like vomits him and Trisha. That's why they were so good on Frenemies because they just vomit everything out. Shared. That information has not come from a medical professional, only chat GPT. I'm, I think I might have fucking lupus. But the, the weird thing is that I don't really have significant clinical um, uh, symptoms. You can tell how disconnected this take is because as we will later find out. That's true, Yayas. Oh, no, not Yayas. Sorry, June. Literally a majority of YouTubers are dramatic. I mean, even this guy's reaction to Ethan is dramatic. The irony. Now, lupus can be a very difficult and stressful diagnosis to get. That's the uh, the weird part about all this. And I guess it's making it hard for them to diagnose because we caught this whole thing by accident. I mean, I was just doing a, a random checkup, you know, just for health. I hadn't done it in a while. And we switched to a new um, insurance company, which I'm glad they did because mm -hmm. they're so much better. If I was with Kaiser, I don't think I ever would have gone through all this stuff. Kaiser has so many problems, bro. Kaiser has, I had Kaiser for a bit, so many problems. My family had Kaiser for a bit, so many problems. It's hard to know what insurance company to go with, though. Because the bureaucracy is so insane. I'm going to try to ignore the insanely privileged take that Ethan gave at the end there, saying that the Kaiser Permanente health system wouldn't have helped him. The same health plan that 13 million other Americans are on. And also... Man, this guy's a hater, dude. Everyone I know who's used Kaiser has a hate-love relationship with it. Some people have an okay service with it. But I didn't love my time with Kaiser. It was good and bad. My sibling had Kaiser. It was good and bad. Like, relax, bro. It's an insurance company. What are you, a capitalist? Like, listen to him. Like, what are you, a fan of insurance companies? Like, oh, what a hater, bro. His employees. Every single one of his employees are on Kaiser through Ethan's benefit package. I mean, what does this guy want? People to not have insurance and die? Thankfully. Bro, unhinged, bro unhinged oh that's the thing i don't have joint pain i don't have bone pain i don't have fuzzy vision i don't have loss of vision i don't have any of that shit i have a feeling i have lupus i don't know why have you considered you're faking it i wish man i don't know how to fake a blood test but i wish i could oh yeah so that's another thing like tingling in the extremities i don't have anything like that i don't have any fucking really symptoms like i said the only reason we've caught this is just pure chance in the blood test and you know my mom has an autoimmune disease yeah so his mom has an autoimmune he's a hypochondriac he's having issues okay no problem you know, she has like ulcer, ulceritis, colitis, ulceritis, colitis. I don't know. I know that this is straying away from the topic at hand, but what does your mom have? Don't you think if autoimmune disease runs in your family and your mom has ulcerative colitis, you would at least know how to pronounce it? My guess is Lyme. Shut up. Immune disease runs in your family and your mom has ulcerative colitis. You would at least know how to pronounce it. My guess is Lyme. What a weird fucking take, bro. What a weird fucking take, bro. Lime, shut up, Sam. Why you say that? Lime? I don't think Lyme disease can cause elevated anatiter. Let me ask ChatGPT. I've been I've been doing a lot of chatting with uh, ChatGPT about this. Yeah, Ethan's an idiot, by the way. Ethan is one of my favorite dumb people. Ethan is so sweet. But he might be the most uneducated person I have ever seen on the internet open his mouth. Him and Trisha got along for a reason. Like, Trisha's way smarter than Ethan sometimes, but, like, at the same time, like, Ethan is a very uneducated person, right? He doesn't know anything about anything. He parrots information. He goes to Chad GBT or whatever. Like, again, I love Ethan, but I do not look at Ethan as an intellectual equal. Obviously, Ethan is playing on a totally different game. Like, he's – do you get what I'm saying? So like, okay, like, what are you gonna, what are you mad at Ethan for? Leave him alone. He, he's a child. He's not a child, but like, 
he's not really hurting anyone, you know, except himself. He's the only person really being hurt right now is Ethan. He's giving himself an insane amount of stress right now. Let him let him do it. You know what I mean? Can Lyme disease cause ele elevated anatiter? Lyme disease caused by a bacteria. It's not typically associated with a rise in anatiter. Yeah, I don't think it's Lyme disease. There's not even really Lyme disease here in LA. I think there's like five people like a year get Lyme disease in LA or less. Yeah, exactly. There's zero Lyme disease in California. It's like super, super rare. Okay, this one struck close to home. If this is your first video that you've seen of mine, I've been sick ever since I was three years old over the span of... Wow, attention seeker, this one. 10 years I was missed that was sarcasm diagnosed over and over in and out of wheelchairs until I got diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease. Ethan Klein just said a whole lot of information about a disease that he's completely uneducated on. His ChatGPT said that Lyme disease isn't likely to cause an elevated ANA, but I asked ChatGPT myself and it said the complete opposite, almost as if diagnosing via AI chatbots isn't always a reliable way to get medical information. I am walking proof of- Wow, no shit. Do you think Ethan, Ethan, again, just let Ethan be entertaining someone who had a positive ANA from Lyme disease. Chronic Lyme is actually very likely to branch off into other autoimmune diseases. Like in my experience, I was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis and immune deficiency disorder and a bunch of other stuff that to be honest, I don't remember because I was 12 years old and I was trying not to kill myself. <laughs> According to Los Angeles Public <laughs> Health, He's so unsympathetic. The number of confirmed Lyme disease cases in Los Angeles County has varied from zero to eight cases a year. But in the same article, they say the diagnosis of Lyme disease may be difficult because of many other diseases that cause symptoms such as fever, headache, fatigue, and body ache. Laboratory tests are often not sensitive, specific, or consistent and are frequently misinterpreted. Okay, so I did. Yeah, Travis says, imagine expecting Ethan Klein to be factually correct about anything he says. Literally. The best part about Ethan is that you just watch him to be entertained. He's literally just funny. You know what I mean? Like he's not, if you take Ethan Klein seriously, like what, ma'am? I did tell ChatGPT my symptoms and ChatGPT also thinks the most likely uh, diagnosis is lupus. But there's a chance that I don't have anything and and it's just a fluke. But that, that that's, I'll be honest, I want to be optimistic about it, but that doesn't make sense to me because there's just too many different signals going off in my blood work. You know what I mean? This clip brings me so much joy because you will find out at the end of this video that this is a complete lie. ChatGPT never thought that the most likely diagnosis was lupus ever. And Ethan outs himself in the worst way possible. But we have to keep on addressing these claims until we can get to that part. Trust me, it's really bad. The only thing that would be worse would be like Ethan ranking diseases on how much he wants them or something like that. If I had to pick one, if I had to pick a disease out of a hat between MS and lupus, Dan, can you do a poll? I also thought I had MS. I cried my mom. I cried to my mom. I was like, mom, what if it's not lupus? What if it's MS? And she goes, Betsy, nobody in our family has MS. I was like, what if it's MS? Like I was like, oh my God, I just made my, my microphone but i was like what if it's ms and i was like freaking out she goes it's not ms i was like it could be and i was like Free what if i have ms and what if i want like okay anyways let ethan be ethan what would you guys rather have ms or lupus because i Lupus, MS, lupus, lupus. I feel like maybe I might rather have lupus. You know what I mean? Let's yeah, lupus for sure. A poll, which autoimmune disease is your favorite? We got the poll going, Dan. Let's see. Are you guys team lupus or team MS? Let's go team. Let's go teams. Team lupus. Take it. I'm going to say team lupus. What do you guys think? In the lead. Let's fucking go. That's right. Team lupus, 80%. Let's fucking go, dude. Lupus for Selena. Lupus for my girl Selena. Let's go right now. True. We team Lupus out here, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I'm team Lupus out here. On God. Did your doctor actually say it may be Lupus, or is it just chat GBT? The doctor's sending me to a rheumatologist. So. Ah, good point. Amber says, I don't know, man. Nerves can regenerate over time, but organs can't. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, maybe MS? Lupus? Mm. Mm, mm. You know, different things come with different uh, pros and cons. Let me tell you. You know, which disease lets you smoke more weed? Great point. Lupus, actually, that's why I had to quit smoking as well is because like the lupus. So I'm going to say MS. I think MS. Does MS let you smoke? Like I said earlier, my dear Ethan, a referral doesn't mean a diagnosis. And hey, that's just not an answer to the question that was asked. <laughs> Did your doctor actually say it might be lupus or is it just ChatGPT? Then he proceeds to say the kind of doctor he's going to. Who says that I don't hook up the fans? Here I am. All my medical records, my deepest, darkest fears. It's all for you guys right here, right now. Buckingham Palace is please. <laughs> Ingrid, neither. Ingrid, you've got to pick one, Ingrid.
to announce that I, Ethan Klein, probably have lupus. Big news, Ethan has lupus. Now, I, I don't have an official diagnosis, I'll be honest, but I think I'd probably do if there's anything wrong with me. I have lupus, I'm team lupus. So I went to the hematologist, hoping it would be like, you're fine. No, more problems, and a tighter through the fucking roof. One, two, three, 20 is not that high. What do you, t stop, that is high. Everybody says it's high. It's a strong positive. Who is everybody in this situation? ChatGP- Oh, Amber says I should disclose I technically have MS and my dad actually have systematic MS, symptomatic MS, and we smoke all weeds. Let's go, all the weeds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. To your doctors, because one to 320 is elevated, but not as Ethan says, through the fucking roof. After this, Ethan says again that he diagnosed himself via chat GPT. <laughs> one to 320, dude. Stop it right now. I had a long conversation with uh, um, ChatGPT about my health. <laughs> oh, oh shit. And ChatGPT says of of the, all the possible uh, solutions, most likely would be lupus. The other reason that uh, we suspect lupus. Wait, he went from saying that ChatGPT thinks it's lupus to now we think it's lupus. We in this situation being an AI chatbot and Ethan Klein. The other reason that. Uh, or Ela and everyone else. Laura says, as somebody with ongoing chronic health issues for the last four years, this whole experience is extremely relatable. This loser is indignant because he's been sick all his life, so he condescends about it, about Ethan. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I feel kind of bad for him. I'm assuming he has been sick his whole life, and it's just like when we when you get sick later in life, maybe you have more of like a different relationship with it because like obviously I got sick as an adult, so it's like a completely different relationship. Ethan's an adult, so maybe that's a part of it. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I feel very relatable to like this experience where like you feel like it's that you tell people it's that um, people doubt you and you feel like what the fuck like the doctor said this pretty much that but then the doctors don't even know you know what I mean. Happy New Year Mars. Happy New Year. Um, You know Joel says Britt do you miss weed now that you live in Croatia. Yes I do. I do miss it. I haven't smoked since May of last year bitch. May of last year bitch. 2023. We suspect lupus is just because I keep I keep getting these weird face rashes. Now with lupus, wait, get... that's a lie. I stopped smoking it way before that because I thought I had lupus. I haven't had an edible or any weed since May of 2023. Sorry, I was on edibles strictly. My bad. I haven't actually smoked even longer than that. Got like these big butterfly rashes. It's very confusing. I don't get any rashes here, but I do. I had the I have the perfect butterfly rash. I have it, and then I have rashes all over my skin. From even a shower, even a shower, if someone scratches me, it almost stays forever. I got a new rash now here, right here on both sides of my nose. It took me a year to determine I had celiac, not lupus. Interesting. But celiac's easy. You just stop eating wheat, right? Well, for someone in a $9 million house, yes. But for other people who have celiac... I thought it was $11 million, but okay. Yeah, like me, for example. It becomes a huge deal because according to a study out of Dalhousie Medical School, on average, gluten-free products were 242% more expensive... SBC Allen with the super chat. Swiggity, swoogity, wiggity, woogity. <laughs> Thanks, my bro. Happy 2024. I really appreciate that. That's that's some good energy right there, bro. That's some good energy out there, bro. Ooh. Than regular products. I think most people with lupus can live a fairly normal life expectancy, Ugh. which is good. I'll suffer the whole way. I don't care. I just want to be there mm -hmm. for the boys. I'm sure you're fine. But Why? You're not yeah, he's just thinking about his kids. Sure of that. I'm sure. I know. What do you mean you're sure? I don't <laughs> like when people say that. I'm sure. I'm, I'm you're, why are you sure? What gives you the right to tell me that? You go, man, this is something really bad I'm afraid of happening. I'm sure you're fine. It's like, <laughs> you're not sure. How do you know? Ethan's like, yeah, as someone suffering from lupus, I hate when people undermine my issues. Also, lupus isn't that bad, and I'm just glad it isn't cancer. You know, of all the things that could... Those things make sense to me. God, this guy is so in his weird little bubble. He's like in his little sick bubble. That is literally true. Like, they, again, Ethan's just like, yeah, this guy can't get it. He doesn't even understand. That's so interesting, isn't it? Like, he, out of all people, should understand Ethan's position more than anyone. But he doesn't, like, he doesn't, yeah, that's so interesting, huh? That's sad. Well, you know, what are you going to do? You know. Could have been. I'll, I'll take. Sick little bully bubble. Yeah. What a bummer. Eh, what are you going to do? Lupus, I guess. You know what I mean? Take us a little loopy. But no. it's not certain it is lupus, right? No, no, no. I give it maybe a 50% chance lupus. Is that your chance or is that what the doctor's <laughs> saying? It's, uh, it, that was, well, no. <laughs> see, see how his, even his, like, his, his team is like Ethan. But that's the point is like, that's what Ethan does. The team keeps Ethan in check and Ethan makes exaggerated 
uninformed opinions. Well, the doctor would never give you a percentage like that. <laughs> you know? I would say that was um, potentially after some coaxing of chat GPT, I forced it to give me <laughs> Okay, bro, bro, time it. You got you to stop with it. So that. it's possible. How likely is the possibility that it's nothing there's a chance but it's it doesn't make sense that it's, it's nothing. slim there is a chance that it's nothing but like with the white blood cells the platelets the anatiter dude just please stop talking the anatiter chat gpt why chat gpt is see zach's trying to help him out and be like bro stop talking to this mar says this guy sounds like he's in the butthurt bubble yeah i think so vamp says can we do discord smoke sessions i mean bro we used to get high in the discord all the fucking time bro I used to be high and on the Discord, which is such a mess, let me tell you, all the time. But I can't get high now. I'm in Croatia. But I might get, maybe I can get, like, mm, I should probably not get a little drunk. But I would, I mean, I'm down for some chill sessions, let me tell you. We got a meditation vet on Friday. You can always meditate and weed, you know, I'm just saying. But, oh, man. It's fucking pro. Because I feel, feel like in this time, like, you need positivity. and, and No, it, it doesn't bring me down. I, I need to know. I need to know. Even with an employee telling to him know. to stop looking at ChatGPT after admitting to coaxing it into saying what he wants to hear, Ethan gives, I need to know as an excuse. I think he already knew the answer a long time ago, but sympathy from people around him felt better than just saying it was from a pre-existing esophageal problem. Now my mom is saying she's mad at you for not telling her about this. Yeah, I know, mom. I, I didn't tell you about it. I guess I should have expected you hear the show is because you would be so annoying about it. <laughs> You know you would be. Very oh my god, I love Donna. Very mature take here. Mom, you would be so cringe and annoying if I told you my medical worries. <laughs> it's the con. I literally sometimes tell the internet things I don't tell my parents. You know, it's like sometimes you guys know stuff like like my parents don't know. I'm just saying, uh, sometimes you guys handle news better than my parents. Constant like um I can diagnose myself. I don't like when other people do it. This to me is the grand slam of all grand slams. I can diagnose myself. I don't like when other people do it. I'm not even going to speculate what he means by this because I want you as the viewer to think about it on your own. Ethan Klein had no symptoms, got a routine checkup, had some elevated levels. Doctor said it was fine and most likely related to a prior medical issue. Then Ethan admittedly coaxed ChatGPT into telling him he likely has lupus. My blood work came back same as yours. 30% people have abnormal anatiters and do not have lupus. Rely on your symptoms more. So my symptoms is, is part of the confusing part. I don't really have any of the Okay, this is this is this is interesting. Is this from you, Cam? No, Ethan. We were getting <laughs> somewhere. Oh, Discord says I wonder if this guy thinks Ethan is trying to make it a part of his identity, and that's why he's upset. He sounds attached to being a sick person. Yeah. Well, he runs a nonprofit, which is really lovely, but it sounds maybe. Yeah, I could see that actually. Maybe he's attached. Yeah, maybe he is attached. Maybe he wants good representation, but again, this seems like such a normal chronic health journey that, I, or you know what? It's probably a bubble thing. I bet for some of us, this was our journey because Ethan's journey was so a part of like what I went through. And a lot of you were there for it because I was online for it. And then in relation to this guy, maybe because he got diagnosed as a child, he just didn't have that journey. I'm telling you, I'm telling you it's because we got diagnosed as adults or we got sick as adults and he got sick as a kid. That's got to be the thing right because it's just it seems like the normal like hot like i don't know i don't know when you cut yourself off with something unrelated an employee sent you someone donated their hard-earned money to give you a very valid suggestion and because it was more logical than anything ethan said in this episode he brushed it off why did you say something to us oh I, it's just uh, there's i don't know for sure you know what i mean it's just something i've been thinking about i don't know i don't know what it is wait that directly contradicts ethan saying at the beginning it doesn't contradict anything it literally doesn't contradict anything. It doesn't contradict anything. It doesn't contradict anything. It's like people who are like, uh, I could see somebody saying like, oh, Brittany lied. She didn't have lupus. But I did always say like, I, they think it's lupus. They're pretty sure it's lupus. They've said it's lupus, but we still need to confirm. So like, again, like it happens. Your doctor says something, you run with it. You go on Google, you run with it. Like, it's just very human. It's silly. But blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? of this segment buckingham palace is pleased to announce that i ethan klein probably have lupus it's almost like talking to his mother who has a history of chronic illness makes ethan shut down or at least realize his claims are wild his mother goes on to try and talk to him in a more understandable less chat gpt diagnosy way well you do you know you do get tired look it's very frustrated like it's very frustrating so many of the people 
in my life during my diagnosis stages, a lot of them were very upset about it. One, because they were worried I was sick. Two, because they hated how badly my brain was like, is it cancer? Is it this? Is it MS? Like my brain was like, oh my gosh, what if it's not lupus? What if it's this? And none of them could handle it. Well, they could handle it. Some of them could handle it fine. I say none of them, but I'm just trying to be like, I'm, see, I'm being an exaggerator. See how I exaggerate? It's an exaggeration. It's not literally every single person, guys. Come on. It's just the people who couldn't handle it were like trying to be comforting, but it wasn't helpful. Like I didn't want your comfort. I wanted your validation that I was in pain, which is very human. Okay. I was very much in my pain. And I just like wanted someone to, because I was so ashamed. Guys, this New Year's marks the one year anniversary. This time last year on New Year's, this time exactly last year on New Year's, I was sitting with my partner at the time on Discord. Well, my partner. He's now my husband. Sorry, my fiance at the time. I was sitting on my computer and I was supposed to spend time with him for New Year's watching anime. And I said, hey, I need you to really help me do this. And he was like, what? And I was crying. I was in so much pain. I was like, I need you to help me fill out my paperwork for rheumatology. I need to get an appointment in ASAP. They can take me, but I need to fill out this paperwork first. And it's a lot of fucking paperwork. And I just, I, they already said they can take me. I just need to fill this out and email it to them really fast. And I just, I can't do it. And he was like, okay. And so we sat on the computer. And he helped me fill out my fucking paperwork. I went to rheumatology a little while later. And uh, they finally got me in. It took months. I filled out my paperwork in January. And the next appointment they could fit me into was in April. And I got diagnosed in April. So it took months, but I finally got on the list. I uh, got diagnosed after a couple of visits to the rheumatologist. And that was that. No, I went in. Sorry, that was a lie. I filled it out in January, went for my appointment in February, got diagnosed in April. That's what it was. Sorry, my bad. Saw my appointment in February, got my diagnosis in April, moved to Europe in May. That's what it was. Okay. So I'm just telling you. Okay. I like, it's a journey, bro. It's a journey, you know. Woo, gang, stand up. It's the one year anniversary for it. That's true. But I'm just telling you, okay. Selena says, good for you for asking for help, girl. Girl, I needed it, girl. I needed, to, I was so in denial that I was sick, but I also knew I was sick, but also so terrified and also so like uh, frustrated. And I was like mourning a lot of like who I was, you know, Rox is so interesting how his illness motivated him to be upset at Ethan and make the video and other people's illnesses, including cancer donated to Ethan. Good point. There it is. You see. <laughs> well, you know, it could be a number of things. Maybe you're just anemic. Ethan didn't tell his mom or his wife. I'm glad I talked about this. I've been stressing hard this since this morning. Yeah, I didn't even know. About his thoughts until... Um, some couples are really weird. Like, some couples don't talk to one another as much as, like, my husband and I tell each other everything. Some people don't talk to their partners. I think it's weird. I think you should talk to your partners more. Um, but some people don't do that. I'm not sure why, you know, but some people don't talk to their partners. They tell their friends. They tell the internet. Like, I don't know what it is. They were brought up on the show, which backs my argument that this was all content brained. If it wasn't for content, then maybe, just maybe, this would have stayed off the internet. I'm talking on YouTube about my experience. Yeah, but that's the problem is like sometimes the internet's safer because um, it's like a different response. The people in your life can make it personal and internalize it and they can make it like, what if my whole life changes? You know what I mean? Um, when you tell the internet there's like a good boundary and they're pretty respectful and the internet's like, very helpful but it's not like it's different than because even like some of the people in my life almost made my diagnosis like personal to them where they're like I'm in a lot of pain and my friend is going through a lot of pain or my daughter's going through a lot of pain or like someone I know is in a lot of pain I need you to help and I would tell my mom like I can't comfort you right now through my diagnosis bro and so she would try to learn how to comfort me but it was really hard because my parents needed comfort as well or like my friends need comfort because of my diagnosis or possible di – you know what I'm saying? So sometimes telling your family can be like a lot harder because they want you to do emotional labor for your own diagnosis of, for them because they're being impacted, you know? This is 15 surgeries and two years after being directly affected. Going through health problems are a very difficult time and turning it into content while undermining other people's experiences is a huge problem. A few I don't really know if he's undermining. 
episodes later, Ethan gives another health update where he says that he had a CBC panel and everything came back lowered and within the normal to high range. Then Ethan finally goes to the rheumatology appointment where the doctor gives him this information. Yesterday, I saw a rheumatologist. This facial rash I'm getting here, I'm getting it at the corner of my eyes. I'm getting it here on my nose. So that was one of the concerns. Lupus causes facial rash, but he told me, and which is kind of what I read, is that lupus rash is pretty much all... On the cheeks. Yeah, it's all right here in this mm -hmm. kind of area. I have not had any rashes there. So he looks mm. closely at the rashes and stuff, and he says he believes it to be eczema, most likely. Eczema? Outside... My brother has eczema. There you go. That's what they thought it was for me, but it wasn't eczema for me. So we're still, we still think it's the dermatologist still thought it was heat related. But like I said, I didn't get a follow up because it wasn't life threatening. So of his prior medical condition. This is the only time we've gotten a fucking diagnosis. Eczema is great. That'd be good. Yeah. That'd be awesome. After Ethan does look unwell. Ethan does look, I know he was really tired after the whole like Hassan thing. And I know he was really tired. So hopefully he's recovering. Okay. He's also losing weight pretty quickly, which is like fine, you know, as long as he's doing it safely. So he's going through a lot right now. All this. I'm not done, <laughs> bitch. Got, okay, all right. <laughs> Don't finish. Just some eczema. I'm not fucking done. You had done, it all worrying. Dude. Okay, all right, all right, all right. No, I'm... Eczema doesn't cause a positive ANA, Dan. Oops, Ethan. I know that we were responding in the heat of the moment, but that's very false. It can actually cause a positive ANA. Yeah, According but he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. Like, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't know that. That's why he's saying it. Ethan doesn't know anything. Into a study He's out of a dog. Upon medical school, 20 to 30% of patients with atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, are positive for anti-nuclear antibodies. Finally, we are at the part that forced me to make this video. As oh. a Okay, guys, this is it, baby. Are you ready? This is it. I gave Ethan the benefit of the doubt until this happened. The rheumatologist, after checking more of my blood points, doesn't believe that I have lupus. There's other biomarkers for it, and they were all negative. Really? But my facial rashes are just getting worse. They're not going away. He told me, next step is to see a dermatologist and see if they can tell us what they think about these rashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I stopped treating it with this uh, steroid bacillin shit, mm -hmm. and it's just coming back so so much. I'm going to try to get it as bad as it can just naturally be. So Hex has forced him to make this video. True. The derm can get a good look. Are you mad that I don't have lupus, Dan? I'm not mad, but... <laughs> you seem mad. You seem annoyed that I don't have lupus. This man's been farming lupus <laughs> for See, he said it, farming lupus. A month. That's so true. There is something wrong. Okay, that's fair. The best guess was lupus. Sorry, I don't have lupus, Dan. Was it the best guess or was it your guess? No, it was, <gasps> was the it best Chad guess. GP? See, see how Dan's holding him accountable? That's good. It was suspected. Guess. It's not like he has yes men. They're just used to Ethan being Ethan. <laughs> it was the most likely. <laughs> all right. All okay. Right. Two, I'll, I'll well, I'm glad you don't have lupus. Obviously. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I'm going to confess something to you guys. I told chat, chat, BT, chat GPT <laughs> all of my symptoms. Yeah. And I said, make a list based on how likely you think it is. Lupus uh -huh. was number one, but there was one I didn't tell you guys that was above lupus. Mm. Uh oh. It was that. It's, I'm probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you think what's more likely, lupus or that it's just a false reading? And they said most likely it's a false reading based on the stats and no symptoms. You are diabolical. <laughs> but it was close. It was close. It's so funny. Like, what a buildup to a crash. I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. Because it's just Ethan being e – it's just so funny. It's, it's kind of funny. Come on. It's like good humored. He doesn't seem malicious about it. Like, can you be unintentionally malicious? I always think you can, but I'm willing to, I feel like you can be in unintentionally malicious. Like you don't think about it, which is sort of malicious because you're not putting thought into it. So I could see Ethan being malicious. Like he's not doing his due diligence, which is kind of malicious, but also not malicious. So I'm okay with either. He's sort of like, I don't know, is he being malicious by not doing his due diligence? But he's also just being like a hypochondriac, which is fine. I don't know, it's kind of funny. They had to crunch the numbers. <laughs> that was real close. You would literally sign off, you'd be like, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mariah says, but I don't think Ethan did it to be hurtful. He's clearly has some health anxiety and got truly caught up. Okay, he's on medication. He's going through a huge diet. He's got a lot of shifts at work. Like, he, even his, like, crew is holding him accountable. It's fine. You know what I mean? It was fine. Uh... All right, guys, I've got lupus. No, I genuinely <laughs> believe I had lupus. Dude, the anatider still raised. People Loopy. don't know. And, my, and I'm inflamed, man. It's not nothing. Well, fuck. Before we dig into that a little bit more, let's break down the sentence he just said. I told ChatGPT all of my symptoms, and I said, make a list. I forgot we were watching this guy. I was feeling really funny with Ethan, and then it switched to this guy, and I was like, oh, I'm sad again based on how likely you think it is. Lupus was number one, but there was one I didn't tell you guys that was above lupus. It was that I'm probably fine. And then laughter. That's funny.
Is it not funny? And Sue, this whole time, ChatGPT never told you it was fucking lupus. You're the only person that said it was lupus. You can't even blame AI on this. AI said that you were most likely fine and you admitted it and you took donations from people who actually have this fucking diagnosis and everything was okay. Later on. I mean, they take donations for a lot of things. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure the donations matter. You know what I mean? Do, do the donations matter? For someone with Ethan's size, I'm not sure it matters. Because you you know you're donating to Ethan Klein. Like, you know who you're donating to. That's like donating to Hassan and being like, he's a political opinion. I, like, just found out he doesn't actually agree with. It's like, well, why do you apply to, like, uh, why do you, donations aren't, in my head, if you donate to the content creator, you're donating for the very moment in time you're donating. And in the future, if they become people you don't like anymore, that means, like, you're not donating to that person. Like, if I donated to people in the past and I don't do donate to them now, it's not because, like, I regret giving money to them in the past. It's just like, yeah, the person they are now, I don't want to give money to. Why is he acting like these people? You know what I mean? It feels like a weird, maybe I'm misunderstanding it. Maybe I don't get it. On, we find out that he lied about having lupus to someone with lupus's face. One of, in one of the interviews on the red carpet, he he had a lupus bonding with one of the girls there. That... <laughs> you <laughs> fiend! You can't do that. Well, I said, I'm like, she said, "What's the problem you're dealing with right now?" I was gonna say my dog dying. I was gonna say that. Stolen valor. Baker. What's your problem? Uh, I have lupus. I think I have lupus. I blame everything on lupus. Lupus queen. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Now, some people outside the chronic illness community may be wondering why any of this matters. Here's a clip to show you why. Look at this, you guys, from the subreddit. You guys are so out of control. This person went, today I found out my boss has lupus and I laughed in her face. I had literally never heard of it before the H3 episode and it was such a funny bit to me when she told me she was upset. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta stop. You can't let the show affect you out there in the room. Okay. A lot of people also, when I told them I might have lupus, when it's not the loop, it's never lupus. Literally, the only way people even know about lupus in my generation or my community was the house meme. So when I was telling people I think it's lupus, everyone's first reaction was like, it's never the lupus. It's never the lupus because that's what house says on Dr. House. You know what I mean? real life you can't laugh in someone's face when they tell you have lupus i was never telling you guys as a joke lupus is a very serious problem you guys it's a very serious okay he's doing right he's telling his audience don't do that condition frankly y'all shouldn't have been laughing at me i might still have lupus it was such a f ethan the sarcasm funny bit to me wait are you autistic it's like sarcasm I doubt that the original poster was the only one who felt this way. There's a difference between jokes and actual real life diseases. And I feel like if you aren't experiencing that disease or symptoms yourself, then maybe you shouldn't share this quote bit with your millions of followers. Man, he's the definition of a party pooper. He's like the definition of a virtue signal like content creator. Jesus Christ. This is so bad faith, bro. Actually, when a doctor never brought up the possibility of lupus, it was all you. In response to Ethan's funny little bit, I decided to take matters into my own hands and speak to people who had firsthand experience with lupus who are willing to tell me their stories. At the time of me interviewing these people, everybody was down to be on camera and have their identities shared to my audience. But after reading some of the shit that people have said on Reddit or my Instagram comments, I am worried for them. So I'm going to be blurring their faces and hiding their identities. But these are 100% real experiences. Also, prior to this being released, I sent an email out to the people who were interviewed. I let them know that I was receiving threats and people were diminishing my experiences because I disagreed with something Ethan said. Two out of the... What? Four people that I interviewed decided to no longer be part of this video for their own safety. Now he's saying he's getting threats because of H3H3. I mean, maybe some loons in the audience, right? But H3H3 H3 isn't going to send people to bully you. I started having symptoms in like late October, early November of 20. What the fuck is this? Experiences with lupus? Nobody cares. Like, yeah, it's sad, bro. But like, what does this matter in relation to Ethan? Why are you wasting people's time? Why did people decide to be a part of it? I don't want to watch this. Being 18. So what? it came on right after I got into a car crash. For a long time, we were treating the symptoms as if it was because of the car crash. Nothing was getting better with the treatment. My symptoms were getting worse and worse progressively. And then I got diagnosed in late August of 2019. You know, I'd gone to my GP a few times. I'd gone to the dermatologist a few times. No one figured anything out. And then in July of 2019, I went to the ER because I was having chest pain. So I asked for a chest scan. They took an x-ray and in the x-ray, there was like- Yeah, no offense. Like this is so like, does, hold on, I'll skip it to, okay, stories, okay.
claims that Ethan made lupus wise. Here are some of their thoughts. I can understand that he's going through a lot right now and it's scary to know that something's wrong with you, but he really leaned headfirst into the lupus thing when there was no evidence really pointing to it. It's just really frustrating to me that he decided that he most likely had lupus and then told everyone before he had actually seen the rheumatologist who told him it was not lupus. I just wish that he would have waited for an actual diagnosis to talk about things and wait for things to be ruled out. It feels really invalidating the way he talks about lupus. Look, just because my journey ended with a diagnosis doesn't mean Ethan's had to. I think if Ethan's ended with some sort of diagnosis, he probably would have been more lenient on Ethan. But because it didn't end up with a diagnosis, maybe he's being harsher. And also Ethan saying Chad GPT said it could be nothing, could be a joke or could be real, right? I can't tell. But either way, like maybe this guy would have been more lenient. That's what I want to know. I want to know if Ethan was diagnosed with something, would he still have been as critical? Because maybe not lupus like to him it's just not that serious i get that maybe in the background he was really sorting through all his emotions but from the clips that i saw it felt like a slap in the face here's what another person said you can have lupus and continue to test negative for it it is a constant struggle for some of my friends with lupus but you have to have symptoms to even be diagnosed with or without a positive test inflammation does not automatically equal lupus or any specific mariah bro looks like his breath smells like milk specific autoimmune disease. This whole situation made me so angry I could not even put it into words, especially when people with chronic illness. Why do we want to bully people? Like, you know, what is it that like in me makes me want to go like, oh, you think yourself self-righteous people make me want to bully them. I'm not going to lie to you. I asked my partner this. I was like, what is it about people that are self-righteous that makes me want to bully them? I'm like, oh, 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 I'm going to bully you so hard. Self-righteous makes me want to bully you. Uh, Men who specifically and women, but mostly men, because I run into this with men more, men who paint a story like they're absolutely good on their side of the fence when you know for a fact they're not, but then they act like they have the moral high ground. I'm like, oh, ooh, I want to bully you. Like, I do want to bully you, right? Like there's something about certain kinds of people that I'm like, I'm going to bully you so hard, bro. But it's not, it's just like I want to knock them off that pedestal because like, what are you doing there? It's embarrassing. We can all see up your skirt. It's embarrassing. Illness are already fighting so hard every single day to just exist. Now people are shitting on it. Another person wrote back to me and said, he started off by saying he doesn't know what lupus is and then proceeded to read every single symptom of it and say, no, I don't have that, which to most people I would think would lead them to look at other options. Just for fun, I looked up my numbers from when I was hospitalized and my ANA was one to 1,280 and speckled. Ooh. Another note, the test that is more specific to lupus diagnosis is actually the DSDNA, not the ANA. I don't want to denigrate how hard it can be to get a diagnosis for lupus or most autoimmune diseases because it's really fucking hard. But it doesn't sit right with me that his reason for not being able to get diagnosed is that he doesn't have symptoms of literally rock says not him wasting the time and energy of people who actually have lupus just to bully ethan literally stop like, literally fucking stop i can't believe you bothered these people who already have limited spoons as it is and ask them to come on your dumb show no offense the disease he just has a feeling he has it i don't know it's frustrating lastly i sent in clips to a medical professional with 27 years of experience making sure to highlight all of his tests and his symptoms the doctor wrote back to me with these thoughts lupus is definitely a difficult diagnosis and not one made purely on lab results in fact the lab test results are many times very nebulous so working with a physician to review labs diagnosis and course of symptoms is very important people want a black and white lab answer that is a yes or no but that doesn't exist for this it also doesn't exist for a lot of rheumatologic diseases and it's not uncommon to get a lot of worried patients over quote abnormal labs that really aren't that abnormal. For example, out of range doesn't mean something bad is going on. This is different from strep test, for instance, where the answer is strep. Okay, but like, it's hard to know that because you see out of range, and you're like, <gasps> I'm one of those people positive or strep negative. Because lupus itself is so variable, many folks read about their symptoms on the internet and come up with the diagnosis when in fact they end up not having lupus. In regards to ChatGPT, if I understood correctly, AI actually said it was probably not lupus. So in that case, I would say the AI was spot on. So I guess that's it. I have spent four months gathering information on four months stalking Ethan, you freak. Ethan and his claims. If all else fails, I hope that at least one person after watching this video understands a little bit more about lupus, chronic illness, why it's insane to make claims like this. And for anybody who's actively struggling with lupus or chronic illness who needs financial help, my nonprofit, Never Stop, will be in the description below and you can apply there. Also, if you feel like it, you can donate to the Never Stop Fund. 10% of all profits from the clothing brand go into the fund. So either way, you're helping people out. Again, this video had no ulterior motives. My goal was to share these claims and how insane I thought they were and other people in the community thought they were. I appreciate you all so much for- Look, as a fibro girl myself, I understand his initial desire to help people in the community, but I do think that representing anxiety, uh, related, diagnosed, 
journeys is basically what we saw with Ethan, where Ethan's journey was very similar to mine. Mine just ended with a diagnosis and his didn't. But it was very similar. You know, I thought I had lupus. The doctors thought I had lupus. Rheumatology took months to see me because I was in the middle of the mountains in this very small Arizona town. And the rheumatologist had to come up from Phoenix, which was three hours away, to come to this small town. And I could barely get an appointment. He had just opened up an office on the mountain. So we were really lucky. Otherwise, I would have to drive a six-hour round trip to the rheumatologist to Phoenix. So I waited to get, you know, a rheumatologist. He had just opened up his doors. Very exciting stuff. Finally got uh, an appointment, but it was a long journey. It was financially taxing. The doctors told me to get a, um, a nutritionist right away for the lupus, which, by the way, cost me a stupid amount of money. And again, like I learned so much about spending a stupid amount of money. But anyways... And so I did all these things in preparedness to think, thinking I had lupus. Um, newsflash, I didn't have lupus. Cool. I had fibro. But fibro still sucks, but I'd rather have fibro than lupus. I'd rather have lupus than cancer. Oh, let's keep going down the list. Everyone has different thresholds for what they can handle. Everyone has a different idea of what's easier for them. Not everyone's going to have the same answer, right? Like everyone reacts to chronic health differently. Um, I definitely understand my chronic health girlies better, but I know you're all having your own unique experience and I don't want you to think my experience is yours. You know, I don't know the things that are wrong with me. It's not like I'm learning about them, um, with like an obsession. I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm learning just what I need to know and nothing else. And I think a big part of that is that my partner's doing most of the research and then our doctors are doing the research. And also I want to spend my time doing other things like not being sick. So I like to throw myself into work and, you know, I don't do chronic illnesses in my work, so I don't care. Just tell me what I have to do for my fucking health, bro. Anyways, the point is everybody has a different relationship with their chronic health. And I wish that this guy was more open to that reality because, again, no one's a monolith, especially sick people, you know. All right. Wow. Overall, good video. Oh, and shout out to Papa Gut for sending me the link to this. He sent me a very nice message and said, hey, this sounds like it's up your alley. And I said, bro. Good on you for looking out because I never would have found this video without him. So I appreciate that. In my head, in me like falling dead. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine. Yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind because I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me because I'm sick of thinking yeah i'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool